Hi, it's Steve. Uh, it's Friday afternoon, a uh, bank holiday, and I'm um, on the M40. Uh, I've got a unit and trailer which I just pulled up in front. I've got the area safe. I chucked some cones out a little bit to give us a bit of cover. He's a bit of a dangerous position. Um, yeah, the problem with uh, the unit and trailer is that he's lost air and the brakes have come on the trailer. So the customers requested it to go back to their depot, so we're not going to fix it at all. We're just going to pick it up and uh, and get it back to the depot. Right, okay. Yeah, I've already spoke to the driver. He's happy enough in the cab, so he's got no air at all. And uh, so we're going to get it uh, lifted first, and that before I try and put an airline in. Safety first. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's a bit of a rush on a Friday afternoon. Everybody's trying to get away for the bank holiday. It's not the best of uh, uh, times to pick up. Yeah, we're just doing a pre-lift now. So we've got the radiator here. We're watching, getting underneath. It's not too bad. This one is a little 4B2. He hasn't got a lot of load on. But the main thing is really the sort of uh, speed. We don't want to be hanging around here too much. There we go. Yeah, that's the McCones uh, fending off any traffic. Hopefully, people taking a bit of notice. All right. So obviously, this seems a little bit quick, as a uh, it will be actually. We won't be mucking around too much. Get the stands on. I'll try and get it off this bend if I can. Then we can uh, get the half shaft out and uh, whatever. But the main thing is just getting it off this bend a little bit get it in a little bit so it won't roll at all for him to roll down the hill and get it over so uh, so it's a quick lifting shift should we say say it's not the best of locations as you can see right. just drop this on here and uh, get that safe for a minute and we'll check see what's happened to that cone oh. yeah it's a 4b2 uh, unit See, this is uh, where the brakes have come on. You can actually see the skid marks of the trailer. A little bit. Yeah, somebody's got a little bit close. We've got the cones out, keep an eye on that. He says a little bit over, but we can't move at the moment. Hope you can see the, the skid marks coming off the bend. Fortunately, I'm listening out best I can, but you in the luck of the gods, really, picking up my motorways. We've got no cover behind us. We're gonna have to get it moved. Literally, just off that corner, be something, really. Fortune is nothing. Right. Okay. Quick chain down. Chain down. Right. Yeah, fortunately it's not for the 
fight now at the end there, yeah? So you can hear the traffic blasting past. Yeah, I want to do, I want to just try to get off this bend a little bit, get it over. Yeah, on these Mercedes uh, Actrosses, they got two test points under the front grille, so made the little airline up to go on there. So I'm going to blow in the suspension, the brakes, let it build up a bit, and uh, I'll get the driver to have a look while he's in there with ignition on make sure we're going up if there's any air leaks i'm probably hopefully had it hear it from outside anyway right let's put the remote somewhere a bit safe don't want it on the floor right let's drop it down a little bit right right let's have a look uh Two little buttons either side on this. Lift up. Right, we've got two little test points. Leaking out a little bit, but there ain't much in the system if he's the brakes to come on. Get me yellow Susie out. I won't be putting that on yet, but just so I can move it off the, off the corner. Alright, let's get me trying them all on. Okay, something then is sounds good to me. Can't hear any air leaks. Right. That's good. So hopefully it's just a unit that's not making any air. Or it's compressor or something like that. Right, let's see what we can look onto here. Got here. Anything around here? Yeah, that does. I keep looking at the traffic best I can. So if I'm moving back and forth a little bit, but I'm not sure I can see why. In there. So I've got the red airline connected to the trailer still. 
so we're feeding air through the trailer through the red airline sorry through the unit into the trailer any luck at all on oh, the ignition any hair going up just felt my seat going up. Oh dear, you get some air in there, lovely. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it down a bit, then I'll get you to take the handbrake off slowly, okay? Yeah. Hold on there a second. His seat's going up, so that's a good sign. That's where he's getting into the system. Tidy this up here for a bit. Yeah, so unfortunately I have to take the half shaft off the offside on these Mercs, so but we're not going to do it then. Drop it down a little bit because you find the cab will lift up a little bit. Okay, can you take the handbrake off slowly for us? That sounds good. Right, let's give it a little uh, thing forward. As it might be the trailer brake, I just check your stop button. Yeah, it might have lost air from the trailer, so the stop button which is here, give that a there we go that's what activated that right we're moving right i'm just going to get you off the bend a little bit then i'll get you out this side all right you're right sitting in there for a second okay just get off that bend right that's a good sign that went all right just gonna level it up a bit Okay, that's fine for me. Right, he's happy enough to stay in there. Getting in there and getting off up the embankment then, once we get a bit behind that barrier, probably the safest bit. Just getting this near side actually, I'm not, I don't want to go that hard, offside. Oh, a lovely buzzer. Right, okay. Let's get off here then. rolling now sorry about the noise so the main thing is get it off this bend they can see us a bit easier then that's it gives us a bit more clearance see if we keep away from that gravel tuck in there a little bit close to the edge a little bit. That's fine, just gonna kick it out a little bit so the back of the wheels of the unit comes in a bit. Right, we've got a bit more clearance now. Lovely, that's plenty of clearance for them cones. We can leave everything on, all the lights, everything I've got on. So we get the driver out. Sandy, you can stand behind that barrier now. Right, let's give him a quick shout. There's my gloves gone. Yeah, right, ready? Right. Okay, there. If you just want to leave everything as it is, if you want to come out this side, you've got the, yeah. you've got the barrier over here a bit safer to stand behind. You're right there. Sorry, I'll make it hard work for you. Yeah, you're a bit safer behind here. You ain't got much on there. There you go. Mine you go. Right, lovely. Just gonna get the half shaft taken out the other side. All right. Yeah. Do that next before we do the airlines. So we pull the half shaft to the, the disconnect the drive. So there's no uh, internal movements in the gearbox while we're towing it. Certainly have to do an all commercials. Sometimes it's the near side, sometimes it's the offside we take out. We've got on these Mercedes, it's the offside unfortunately. We have to pull. The diff locks on the near side. Right, okay, get a few bits there. Okay, going back and forth. Right. Have a look, see how that looking. It's not too bad, it's on the straight then actually. So let's go 
we've got a bit of room actually now which we didn't have before no idea but i'm giving myself a good few feet now As I these Mercedes uh, I haven't got half shaft cold for this they do tend to leak out actually because they're roller bearings the only manufacturer we pick up that uh, got roller bearings normally you put a plate over them or, a, or seal the middle it stops any leaks but on the Mercs we don't unfortunately I'm gonna go this way actually at least I can keep on the traffic rather than go between sure nothing coming up coming down here Getting there, my friend, all right. See how far you drove away from the cones back there? Yeah, it's. Please walk back. Yeah, just on that nasty bend, wasn't it, where you were? Uh... Make it more difficult. Yeah, because what they tend to do on the bend, they follow the line and end up coming over. Right, I've got yellow Susie here to do the braking. 
unfortunately my air lines are on the other side so we're not going to go around there we're going to fix them up and uh, bring them through this side I don't want to spend too much around that side. Right, okay, there's one there. Let's get the red Susie. I'll bring my leads through. Right. Probably have to reset their um, trailer part brake. Now I've disconnected the red Susie. Let's we'll see. put that red on first then I know then if it's a uh, part brake's been applied right get that over the top I decided to behave and stop where I want it to right let's get the red Susie in Yeah, going to the trailer as you can hear. Just gonna make sure that's gonna move. Any bow will do. No, as I thought, it's here. So put the pot brake on the trailer, which is here. Right, that's off. Right, now we go to the other Susie that does the braking. Bring that through here. Right, this is the one that breaks the trailer. So we're not breaking the truck. The trailer will now break. There we go. Right Tidy them up a little bit. We'll run that through and uh, we're nearly done. So we've got three airlines, airline going to the tractor unit in case there's any problems because it has got an air fault and two airlines for the trailer. Let's see what we can do with this. Push around here a little bit. A bit of a pest these lines in one way because as you say they're right up there on one side but they're opposite side to where we want really. Right, let's tighten this up then I can suck it off. Let's get it right that hole in there. That's fine. Actually I better turn the Mazda lights off. Till I won't worry about the going in there again. The handbrake's off, I'm just gonna pull that. And that'll disconnect uh, any lights to the trailer. That'll be fine. Get out of it. So we've just got the lights on the unit but it won't be too much of a problem they won't see them from the back or oh, let's take that down okay now she normally i just jumped in the other side but we don't want to do that go around there right let's have a look where's the exit lights with the keys on the floor as the lights off right Ain't got nothing no his paycheck to be blown away right okay another cable tie in here we just got to leave a little bit of slack put that back on there right there we 
go. Lovely, just gonna give it a check over and get the cones. All right, you hop in if you want, okay. Oh yeah, it's gone. Right. Yeah, so we're a fair way from the cones, but we're uh, we're off the bend, which is the main thing. So fortunately, I did want to come on this gravel here, get myself stuck. So he's sort of pulled a fair bit forward, as you can see. Here you can see the tyre marks now where they're uh, I'd just be walking along where the brakes have come on the trailer. Just walking in it now. truck coming up near that blue one there I think we'll free for a little bit Yes, at least we know now that uh, that the problem is not with the trailer, it's the unit not making any air. So we're taking it back to the company and uh, their fitters and that can have a good look at that. Can't hear any leaks. There we go. That's that loaded. I'm not going to put my cones in the other side. I can stay in there for now. Sort that out the other, uh, other end, should I? Right. And what have I done with my remote? Here it is. So there. Oh, the twig. Alright, just one lot to set it up quickly. Okay. There we go. The joys of loading on a motorway. Hard shoulder. Friday afternoon, everybody's in a rush to get home. Right, we'll put it down here, make sure we'll be okay to go. Right after this truck, right, we've got a gap now. Right, right, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, God, God, dear, hey, thanks for that. That's all right, my friend. Right, let's get you back to the to depot. Yep. Right. There we go. There we go. Friday afternoon rush out on the M25. Have a look around the other side. Yeah, we just come off the M25 uh, Junction 14 now. Uh, I've got a driver next door to me, so we're heading back to his depot with the unit and trailer. So we're just gonna do a bit of filming because he said he didn't mind uh, on the route back. I'm just getting around uh, these cars. But yeah, that hasn't got too much of a load on board, so it's towing quite nicely and say so it's, uh, it's only a two axle unit, so it turns quite, uh, well, just watching the back end come round the, the bend now. Hopefully you might be able to see the, in the mirror, the unit, that's all the trailer. We've got a couple of little roundabouts to negotiate, nothing uh, too exciting. I'm 
and we'll probably do uh, have to stop the filming when we get near his uh, depot. So it's right this uh, roundabout yep. you're saying, yeah? Yep. Okay. Right. right, okay. I'll try and get me head out the window a little bit and watch you. Hopefully be able to see the trailer coming round a little bit. Watching the near side. You see that in a minute if I get my head out a little bit. There we go, heavy mass. See it, see I follow him round, okay. Going straight over. Straight over and then right at the next one. Right, lovely, thank you. Right, so we're straight over here and right the next one. Is it? Is it a nice tight roundabout? Is it? Oh, that's good. Then we better take it a little bit wide to the left and uh, it gives a bit more room. This is what we want to see. <laughs> right, so it's right this roundabout. Okay. So we should turn not too bad, you say, but it's only a two axle unit. So we're going to head over to the left a bit. Once we're clear. Over to the left. I'll get me head out a little bit so you can see the back come round. There we go. There we go. A little bit more that way. There we go. She follows on lovely. And that's it. Just inside the curb. There we go. Thanks very much for watching, uh, as always, and thanks very much, Matthew, for letting me film you. Thank you very much. Uh, until next time, thank you.